Hello, everyone. Dr. Lisa Faust here, and I have uh, a fantastic guest today, somebody I've actually wanted to have on for a really long time. So I hope you uh, enjoy this episode as much as I know I'm going to have recording it for you. So my guest today is another pharmacy owner. His name is Easton Bryant, and chances are you have probably seen him before, even if you didn't know his name. Um, he still owns my most favorite marketing video of all time. And yes, we will get to talk about that uh, later in the in the episode. But Easton, I just want to say thank you for joining and be willing to take time out of your busy day. Uh, I know you're, you're very busy, but I know so many pharmacy owners are going to learn so, so much from you. So uh, welcome to the show and go ahead and introduce yourself and, and tell us about your pharmacies um, for everybody that's listening. Yeah, and thank you. I'm happy to be here. I love connecting and um, love rubbing, rubbing shoulders with other pharmacy owners and really anyway. So I think I think that's how we all learn. So thanks thanks for having me. Um, yep, I'm, I'm in Kentucky at North Century Pharmacy, and we've been open about eight years now. Um, full line, full service pharmacy. I love to do anything off the beaten path uh, to keep my head in the game, keep me interested. <laughs> so. Uh, um, I guess I could be accused of, of sometimes chasing the next shiny thing, you know, but uh, um, but try to implement as well and, and try to um, and, and try to have a strong business. And I'm really proud of what we built here, proud of my team and I'm proud to talk about some technology today. Yeah, um, I think that's why I love watching you. And I've I've watched you over the many years from from afar. And it's you reminded me of my younger version of myself. You know, I loved trying new things. That was what was that was exciting to me. I mean, yes, the profits in the busy, boring work, you know, that you got to do consistently. But boy, I loved starting new things in my pharmacy. And I was always willing to try something new. Like my answer was yes, first, and we'll figure it out. And so we're doing a little series on technology in the pharmacy and how you can leverage technology to grow your pharmacy because I'm a huge technology junkie. I love technology. Um, maybe it's just the, the age that I am. Uh, you know, even though I'm getting up there in age, I'm still on the younger side of, you know, quote unquote, pharmacy owner generation. And so I love leveraging technology. So I want to talk to you today how you have leveraged your strip packaging machine, which you use the, the RX Safe Rapid Pack to grow your pharmacy and in particularly your OTCs. Um, this is a conversation that I've actually had with lots of pharmacy owners is, you know, there's, there's really cool options out there for technology, whether it's automated dispensing or a phone system or a new compounding equipment, you know, whatever the case may be, but you have to justify that purchase. And hopefully you justify that purchase by it's going to save you money because you're going to get maybe reduce your labor or it's going to help you grow even more. And so you've done a really good job on growing from that technology. So before we kind of get into the marketing of it, if you can think all the way back to the many years before you had that, um, what was kind of going through your mind? What was your original plan for getting a strip packaging machine? So we had we were doing uh, like a lot of people, we were doing the trays, you know, the manual packaging. And um, as soon as I found out strip packaging was even a thing and even a remote possibility to have, I knew that we, were, we would get there someday. Um, you know, we did want to build up our volume and make sure we had the demand for it at first. And it really got to a point to where it became very cumbersome to keep up um, not only with the volume of those, you know, manual trades we were putting together, um, but you know, from a quality standpoint as well. Uh, I had a, a pharmacist that was helping me uh, at that time and she was a little OCD. So <laughs> try to get in there and count all those pills and try to make sure there's a really 16 in there. And um, I started looking at the amount of time we were spending just doing that. And then also um, having to, you know, redo, reevaluate just to make sure everything was as right as supposed to be, obviously as, as, a, as a pharmacy. So um, it got to a point where we were doing about 85 of those. And I said, I think it's time to pull the trigger and, um, and, and invest in this because we had lots of interest. We were growing that, um, you know, that manual version pretty quickly. And I said, we can do this. So let's just, let's just do it and market the heck out of it. So when you were doing the manual version, were you focusing primarily on just regular prescriptions or at that point, were you focusing on OTCs as well? No, at that point we were definitely just doing regular prescriptions. And um, yeah, I, I knew that it, 
it wasn't the most efficient route. So I was, I wasn't looking to spread our wings any further <laughs> at that point, if you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, why do, why do more work when it's very laborious? So once you've got your rapid pack machine, okay, we got to know now we're going to get into the fun marketing video. And if you haven't watched his pack that thing up video, we will post to it below this because you have to watch the video. And I think if you're anything like me, you will become your favorite marketing video ever. <laughs> um, but at what point did you like, okay, we got the machine. And like you said, we have to market the heck out of it. The one thing that I think is really important is no matter what technology or what improvement that pharmacy owners are going to go out and get, it doesn't just magically improve your pharmacy. Like you, it takes actually a lot of work to implement. It's kind of the whole freight train leaving the station. It's a little bit slow getting moving, um, but you have to work for it and you have to, you know, try to attract those types of patients that are a good fit for that. So tell me how your marketing plan started to congeal around, okay, I got this expensive piece of equipment that, you know, is probably one of the more affordable equipments, but still it's a good chunk of change. And how am I going to market it and how I'm going to grow my business? Okay, so let's start with the song, I guess, because I've I've told people before and kind of joking, kind of serious, like I bought the machine so I could do this song. <laughs> so, you know what? That works for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was at a, I was at a trade show and I I signed the intent to purchase. Um, I got on the plane to go back home from that trade show and I started thinking to myself, "Oh my gosh, this is a six figure purchase! Like first time I've, we've ever done anything like that." And um, I was like. You know we're gonna have to really really push this and so my the way my brain works i was like okay pack what rhymes with pack start going through the alphabet and i got to be pretty quickly <laughs> back rounds with pack and i was like okay what what's the song that has the word back in it and then um my sister was on she's a pharmacist as well i like had this like aha moment i wanted to tell her and she was already asleep before the plane took off so during the flight, I wrote that whole jingle. And uh, as soon as we touched down, she woke up. I was like, you got to look at this. <laughs> so I actually had it written in like, um, I was already like recording bits of that video before we actually had the the, the machine in the store. So, <laughs> you know, like I said, I got to It's got to be fun to me. And I, I, I know this, you know, I don't want to get up on a marketing tangent, but I love, love marketing. And I'm passionate about making pharmacy fun. Those are two words that don't really go together, pharmacy and fun, but I think it's very possible and um, it definitely helps with engagement. So, so yeah, that's the story. <laughs> I, I love that. That is my philosophy too. And my pharmacies, like I'm always telling pharmacy owners, it's okay to show personality. Like it's, yeah. you are a local owned business. You are like your own pharmacy's mascot. Like that, yeah. it just, if you want it some other way, you probably have to like do another business because, um, and I do, I think pharmacy should be fun. I think people should love coming to your pharmacy. We used to have, you know, balloons for the kids and coloring things and, you know, all different kinds of things because it shouldn't be boring down and depressing. Yes, sometimes we're talking about serious stuff, but, you know, we all spend more time with each other than we do with our loved ones at home. We might as well darn toot and enjoy it. <laughs> you know, like I'm a big believer in that and marketing hands down should be fun. Like, Absolutely. Especially if that's your personality, which it obviously is. I've, I've seen you, you yeah. know, your authentic self plenty of times and know that that's, that's your natural personality. And I think that authenticity is what draws people. And so when you watch that video, like I seriously get goosebumps, just like even because it, it is, I think what makes it so magical is that it is authentic. So we could probably have an entire episode just on marketing, <laughs> but, yeah. um, so what happened after the video, after the magic, after the rapid pack, um, you know, when you were focusing, did you just easily convert patients? Was it a big lift to like talk to prescribers? Like, tell us like what afterwards looked like. You know, I made the decision um, to really get rid of the other manual method. I know lots, lots of pharmacy owners and pharmacies will, they'll keep the option to where they can still do both. And I was like, look, this technology superior, the quality, you know, the the check. I mean, we have 22 cameras in this thing. We're, we're verifying on a 42 inch monitor. The quality is there. Uh, the peace of mind that that we're doing right by our patients and investing in, in them, you know, not only our business, but the quality of service we're bringing to them. Um, I was like, we're going all in, you know, we're not going to give them this lesser option. And, and we did have a little bit of kickback, but I just had to tell them all those facts. Like, look, this is, there's not a better way to to do this. And this is the way we're doing it here. And and they they understood, you know, change is always hard, you know, for everybody, whether yep. you're a pharmacy owner or a patient or whatever. So I, I understood that, but it was 
it was welcomed for the most part across the board, you know, 95% of folks. And we had a few, we had to kind of coach into it. <laughs> like, this is what you're getting now. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. you know? So now that you had a more efficient process down with the rapid pack machine, um, when did you start to incorporate and really focus on your over the counters? Because you've had an explosion of over the counters kind of tied to your strip packaging machine. So when did you make that shift from now we're ready to really expand this thing into all these other areas? Well, let's see. So we we started using the Rapid Pack RX in June of 2020. That's when it that's when it launched. So that was, you know, COVID was a thing, right? So yep. that was really the springboard, I guess, for the supplement, you know, part of it. You had to be careful how you, you you couldn't call them like anti-COVID packs or whatever, but we knew the data was coming out with vitamin D and even melatonin and like, you know, this, these whole blends. And um, at one point we had a, a local employer, which, you know, I'm in a small area, but this is one of the bigger employers in this area. They called and had, you know, the first positive case in their organization. And they were like, what, how can we, how can we get the good? They knew that we were like promoting professional grade supplements as well. And um, they put in an order for, I think, 42 packs of, you know, those protocols. And that was pretty cool. It was hard to, to get them all to them timely and get it all done. So it was kind of a first big test for us doing something like that. But um, I, I was, you know, it was cool to see them embrace the technology and the streamlining of what we could do, as opposed to us trying to get a bunch of bottles together and box them up and, you know, pass them out that way. So. No, I, I think that's brilliant. And I, you know, in our, we were talking earlier, it's like, that's where my brain immediately went because as somebody who has a bunch of bottles, you know, sitting by there and taking one of each, I was like, I, I always saw the, the strip packager is like a convenience thing. Yes. There's like the long-term care or like the elderly. I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, busy moms, man. Like that's who needs them because you bundle all of my stuff together. And that makes it so much easier for me that I can pull a pack off. And so OTC bundles, if you will, when you give people something that's unique and uh, different, they automatically feel like more special and more taken care of. And so at least that's been my experience. And so you, you mentioned the employers, but how did everybody else, like when you started putting out the different packs, um, you know, immune boosting or immune supporting or, you know, whatever the, the you got to use the right words um, to be out there. How did like everybody else in the community, like start to you know, adopt those? Did they did it do pretty quickly or was it a hard sell? I think it's pretty quickly. I mean, and and to your point as well, you know, I have a, I have a daughter that takes a complex uh, medication regimen at bedtime. And prior to that, we had the tray, you know, like everybody else has a little plastic tray and, um, and I'm, I'm terrible. I mean, I'm, I live at the pharmacy pretty much. And then I would get home. My wife would be like, you forgot her medicine, right? So if, you know, because the bottles, whatever. So yeah, it's like immediately we got her put on a pack and like, we've been doing, you know, we've been doing her medicine that way since, since we got the machine. And I tell people, that's my personal testimony. It's like, you know, this is awesome. <laughs> like seriously. And, and, and then, you know, for us, we don't charge anything for the service. Um, it's just really hard for some, I mean, like I, I tell people, like, you can't convince me that there's a better way to do this. Yeah. You know? No. So it wasn't, it wasn't a hard sale, especially, I mean, I had the, the proof just like you you know as a parent it's like hey this is this is the way to go yeah so in terms of supplements the question that i get when i always talk to pharmacists they're like hey i'm considering a rapid pack you know what's the strategy for it because that's what they they call me for and i i always say otcs and they're like oh wait but how do i do that like in my state like can i do that that we it's so funny. And I mean, obviously there's lots of laws in pharmacy and we got to follow the rules, but we are so quick to like assume we can't do something rather than like figure out how to do it. And so with OTC labeling laws, it's pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, but what did you find? I mean, you're in Kentucky, which obviously is different than other states, but what did you find in terms of the requirements that you needed to meet in order to pre-package already pre-manufactured -man products? Uh, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, there's not, not a lot of restrictions there. Um, and, you know, we, I don't know if this answered your question or not, but we, we started putting together different protocols pretty quickly too. Because, you know, people saw the immune thing, then they're like, well, what about this? What about this? What yeah. About this? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> you know, that's, that's something that, that we can do for you for sure. 
uh, as opposed to us shipping you this bottle, this bottle, yes, we can put it in there. It's going to be labeled properly. It's going to have all your information on it. It's going to be dated. And um, that's, I don't know where you're going next, but that to me, that's something I definitely wanted to mention is, you know, we've built out several protocol packs, which, you know, we're North Century Pharmacy. We go by, you know, we're kind of locally known and that's NCP. So we call our, we call ours NC packs, but we have all these like protocol NC packs now. And I have so many that I haven't gotten to like, I mean, it's almost an endless list of protocols you can build out to do that. And then also if people buy the supplement pack, they're like, hey, can you put my prescriptions in this as well? And then other, both ways, you know, you have your prescription patients that are buying their supplements from Walmart, the dollar store, wherever. They're like, hold on, I take I take this, this, and this that I buy from, you know, how you know how patients do that. They just nonchalantly yep. like, hey, I buy all these from somebody else. <laughs> Can you do all this in in house? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. That's what I want you to do. Just make yes. Sense. So the labels on there, I know from the pharmacies that that I've owned where where we've done this is we actually had um, the OTC labels like reprinted on the boxes for the different packs. Like that's how we did it. And so yeah. I've used Jessica at Promo Sons to make like our custom boxes. I'm sure there's other places to, mm -hmm. to make custom boxes, but we would just take all of the required labeling that was on the original bottle and kind of like, you know, graphically had it put on there. Um, there's probably some other ways. Is that how you guys did yours or how did you guys get that right labeling on the box? Yeah, we we've done it through uh, email and tech, like through orders. We we do so much e-commerce now. It's I mean yes. that's pretty much what ninety five percent of our stuff is now. It's like e-commerce. So we've done it. We've done it that way. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good way too because you could do QR codes and things like that that go to all the the legal labeling requirements as well. That's that's definitely another. And probably as you start to produce more more of those protocols. So a lot of times the word protocol kind of gets people like. They think it has to be like some fancy written up thing, but really it just means you've put together a regimen of different products. And because they're in the pack, it's like, here's your you know morning time, here's your lunch time, and here's your night time to where they don't have to think about, you know, what, what pills to pour out of the bottle. It doesn't have to be a fancy protocol with a, with a, a book and a thing and a thing and a thing. Like every time I talk to pharmacies, they think they have to build out this entire like ecosystem in order to have a recommended regimen. Uh, and so what kind of protocols do you have? Obviously you had the one for, you know, immune system or whatnot. Um, what are your other most popular ones? Uh, so we have a women's health pack, you know, women are definitely more proactive when it comes to their health. So <laughs> that was, there was some demand there for that one pretty quickly. So um, we did that one. I think that was maybe our first one uh, other than the, the immunity pack. And um, we have a prenatal pack. We have a liver health pack. Um, I'm going to miss some, but I mean, there's, I've had requests for like, so I'm just like taking down requests. People want fertility packs for men. And yeah. Women. Fertility. Yep. Uh, PCOS is a big one that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, so again, it's just, you could go on and on with these things. And oh yeah. I could think like a, like gut health or even erectile right. dysfunction, you yeah, know, yeah, fungal yeah. support, sugar support. Like, I mean, <laughs> you, like you said, there's like endless, we could probably sit here and come up with a hundred. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I guess this ties into that, but I've done, um, I've done a questionnaire as well to where patients can send me feedback. It's a list of probably takes them about 10 minutes to fill it out. And based upon their feedback, I can make custom recommendations as well. So that's been big. Um, this year, it got a little out of control. Following grew quite a bit. And you know, I can only do so many of those. Uh, yeah. but that, that's cool. I do. I still have a link that I share with patients sometimes if I know that they're really interested. Um, but yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll throw this in there. If anybody's looking at trying to tie all this into e-commerce is um, with Shopify, which is the platform we use has been great. But we had that. We had that on there. What we came up with, we thought was fair, was they could purchase a $20 consult. They would get the form. We would make recommendations. And we'd give them a voucher for $20 off their pack. That way, if we do the work, at least they're paying us $20 to like make the recommendations. They can go buy them somewhere else if they want to. Um, I had that up for a while. People were really responding well to that. And then Shopify considers that telemedicine. And they made me take it down. So, Oh, my goodness. So there's that. But, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I've um 
I've recommended Drugstore to Door a lot for building like e-commerce websites outside of Shopify. Cause okay. sometimes with Shopify with healthcare, it, it, it does get a little, like I groan because it's like one more thing. I, I didn't realize that Shopify did that, but yeah, when you get into healthcare with Shopify, it can get a little wonky sometimes, but Drugstore to Door can build like really cool e-commerce sites that doesn't link in Shopify. So, you know, maybe there's options for that to just use Calendly or something, but oh yeah. goodness gracious. But yeah, no, that's fantastic. I love that idea. That way you're paid up front. And if they don't buy from you, you still got your money. But if they do buy from you, then, you know, you're, you're recycling it back in and chances are they'll probably be a long-term long-term uh, patient to yours. Well, here's two more recommendations to add to your list. So you might already have one, but a weight loss pack and a hair loss pack. Um, those are, those are two really good ones. Uh, yeah. I know I'm working on some of my own content for the members for those two, but, uh, cool. you know, it, it is almost January, you know, weight loss, weight loss is just around the corner. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, so what do you see now? Like, where do you see growth going now in your technology? How are you planning to, are you, I mean, are you tapped out on your rapid pack? You know, what is, what does growth look like for Easton with like this technology or other technology in order to, you know, to continue to evolve your pharmacy? I just, I just want to keep packaging. I love the technology. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just want to keep using it more and more. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, no prescription patients more, you know, I know we're not talking to LTC, but more of that uh, for sure. And um, you know, I like to hear that machine running. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right, right, every, right. every time, every time I know I, I like it too. I, I get used to, I like the air puffs. Like I know some people like, like they says it annoys them, but to me it's, it's almost like comforting. Like when I'm in back in a pharmacy with like the little air, but like, I'm like, Oh, like, I don't know. It's comforting to me. So I'm, I'm with you. I like to hear it. You know, you know what's cool uh, when, when the machine is running and, and patients come in and you know, it's, it's in the same room as everything. I know some people have like a back room for the machine um, and you know, it's not terribly loud, but it sounds like something's going on. So people come in and they see us kind of hustle and bustle and see, hear the machine go and They're like, they kind of feel like they're in the right place. They're like, Hey, this is a busy little, little spot here. You know, and, you know we're at sexy cells and there's lots of cool, sexy things in pharmacy that us pharmacists and pharmacy owners take way too much for granted, but the lay people love. And so anytime with technology, right. I think pharmacy should use that more. We had, that's one of the reasons when I installed a Parada Max as our vial filler machine, like back in, gosh, I don't know, it was like 08 or 09 or something. We put it front and center. You know, a lot of people maybe like try to hide it or something in the pharmacy, but we made it front and center because we we're like, we want people to look at this. Like Max is a part of our team, you know? So I think the more you can put things front and center like that, um, the more interesting it is. And actually it helps create that word of mouth, you know, fire that, that goes for that. So um, anything else you want to share with the pharmacy owner that's thinking like how to grow OTCs, or maybe they were thinking about getting a strip packaging machine. I was going to say, um, you know, the 42 inch monitor, we use the verify uh, the, the rapid pack you know, pouches, it's far enough away. You can't see any patient information, but you can still kind of see that there's like grids and, and pills on the screen. And sometimes a patient will be at the register and they'll kind of be peeking around like, what is that? So it's, it's cool to share that with them and be like, Hey, this is how we, we check your stuff. They're like, wow. Yeah. So that's yeah cool. No, it, it makes a very good impression on patients. And um, I know whenever we've had a new technology to our pharmacies, we often will have like an open house sometimes for prescribers and like their staff and then other times for patients. Cause they do, they, they like to peek, they like to look at it and they like to know. And, and frankly, it makes you come off more as like the community expert, because when you're using innovative technologies, um, you come off looking smart, which you are. So <laughs> that's always a benefit. So Anything to help me look smart. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we, I will definitely link to Easton's pack that thing up video because it is, it is well worth watching. Like if you just need motivation and you've had a hard day, just watch the video. It makes you happy. <laughs> um, my favorite is the little old ladies, like the little old, like the old people you got, like those are my favorite. So uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us, Easton. If anybody wants to like follow you or, or check you out, like where can they find you? Um, they can find me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Just look for North Century Pharmacy. They can also go to the rxgrid.com and connect with me there. I'm always looking to talk to other pharmacy owners. Uh, like like I started this this little uh, conversation with. I love networking and and love uh, sharing what I know and, and learning from others as well. Yes, and I would definitely recommend your TikTok channel if a pharmacy wants to know what a 
fabulous, wonderful TikTok channel can do for your pharmacy and how easy it is, uh, go check out Easton's. It's definitely one of the top ones for pharmacy, um, hands down. So thank you so much, Easton. I really appreciate you spending some time. We'll have to talk about marketing another time. I'll, I'll get we will. That. We will. That, that could be probably like hours. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.